Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2019 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Chris Anaya. And as Mr. Lynn Dyke mentioned, due to health reasons, Chris will not be here in attendance. However, his, life, his wife, Mrs. Lucy Anaya, is here to receive the award for her two, and her two uh, correction. And two of Chris Anaya's former coaches will present and speak on behalf of Chris Anaya. There are Zach Papacristos from Chabot College and Neil Pugh from Lorenzo High School. Chris Anaya, what a stud he was back in the day. A tall, lanky wrestler who loved cradles and deep double leg takedowns. In 1972, and during Chris Anaya's senior year at San Lorenzo High School, Chris was one of the most sought after high school wrestlers in the country. At the end of his senior year, Chris Anaya accumulated an undefeated record of 52 0, which included 35 pins. Chris won the CIF North Coast Section Championship in the Northern California Invitational Tournament where he was selected as the most outstanding wrestler. In addition, Chris Anaya received High School All-American honors by Wrestling USA Magazine. Continuing his MAC career at the collegiate level, Chris Anaya attended Chabot College and won the State Community College Championships his freshman year in, at 160 pounds. In addition, he was a two-time All-American for Chabot College. After Chabot, Chris Anaya attended Cal Poly and was ranked sixth in the country at 190 pounds for two years and qualified to the NC2A Championships. Furthermore, Chris Anaya had one more additional wrestling achievement for his resume. In 1975, Chris Anaya won the National Freestyle Championship. And for post-competition, Chris Anaya volunteered his time coaching youth with the San Lorenzo Wrestling Club. Chris Anaya is a retired firefighter who resides here in Sacramento area. Mr. Chris Anaya, we know you're at home resting. However, we wish you a healthy recovery. Congratulations on this prestigious award. Ladies and gentlemen, introduced into the 2019 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Chris Anaya. Okay, I'm going to repeat a little bit of what he said. I have, we didn't get together in our, our notes, but... Uh, uh, unfortunately, like we said, Chris cannot be here tonight because of uh, a lung disease he has. And um, he has shown a lot of improvement recently. Uh, for a while there, he couldn't talk, he couldn't do anything. And now he's to a point where he's talking and feeling a lot better. And uh, he's had a lot of prayers, and he still needs people's prayers right now because he's, he's not out of the woods yet, but he's doing very well. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Chris was one of four brothers and two sisters. He had four brothers and two sisters. Three of, his, three of them were wrestlers, and his two sisters were wrestling stats, statisticians. Um, his mother and father, Joe and Mary and I, were awesome parents. They did an amazing job of raising this family. Uh, think of this. They lived in a very small home, about 900 square foot home, three bedrooms, one bath with six kids, and you can imagine them all trying to get into the shower to get ready for school and everything, but uh, it, it's very, very tough. Um, they, um, one of his brothers was born handicapped, severely handicapped, he's deaf and blind, and they all helped, the family uh, helped work with him and they loved him and took care of him and they was really a close-knit family. Uh, they were loving people who loved and supported their children. Financially they weren't very well off but uh, as a family unit they were rich. If you were to go to their house and visit them You'd knock on the door and you'd be greeted by some of the best smiles. They're famous for their smiles. And you'd feel like you were just one of their family when you walked into their house. Just amazing people. Chris and his wife, Lucy, uh, have two, two wonderful daughters. And uh, Sarah and Hannah. And they're over there. They can raise their hands or so. Uh, Sarah graduated from the University of San Diego. And uh, she graduated, she did her postgraduate work there. And the postgraduate, I'm sorry, she did her postgraduate work at Yale and uh, completed her, her degree in Yale. She is currently employed at Scripps Primary Care Center. And uh, the other daughter, Hannah, is a graduate of Cal State University, Los Angeles, and is an assistant editor presently working on a new Apple series. 
1969, I was a coach, a young coach at San Lorenzo High School when I first met Chris. Came out for the wrestling team, and um, to be honest, he wasn't very good. And um, he, but he had a lot of, lot of drive and wanted to be good. He worked hard and everything. And within just a short period of time, he turned into just an awesome wrestler and an awesome leader of the team. By his senior year, he was considered to be one of the number one high school wrestlers in the nation by Sports Illustrated, uh, mentioned in Sports Illustrated. At that time, like they mentioned, he had three national records for individual records. Uh, one of them was the 52-0 and 0 was a national record at that time. 35 pins was a national record at that time. And he also had 11 tournament championships, which was another national record at that time. Since then, they've all been broken, but uh, some of those records, the pin record lasted for a long time. Um, from there, he was, and he was highly recruited by Cal Poly, uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Iowa State, and he chose instead to wrestle for Zach Papachristus at Chabot College, and Zach's going to fill you on what he did from there on. So thank you. Neil, I want, Neil, I want to thank you very much for recommending Chabot College to Chris. And you know, we out recruited all those Division I schools because of your recommendation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to get this tape so Chris is listening at this point right now in the hospital. So we'll see. It always seems to me that the greatest honors which can come to a, a man to be selected to make a presentation on behalf of Bill. Hall of Fame recipient Chris Tanaya is a great honor. Chris would certainly be making this acceptance presentation, but due to his unexpected living illness or lung illness, that the hospital has been hospitalized for a long period of time. I was asked by President Lynn Dyke and the family to speak on Chris's behalf. Chris has been in ICU for close to three months, battling his lung problem. It was recommended by team physicians that he would need a double lung transplant in order to survive. Of course, being so weak, it's impossible to do that surgical procedure. Of course, he's required medication. He's been taking some new medication, and things are starting to see light. He was very uncomfortable with the tube inserted in his throat, and finally, they performed a tracheotomy, and he started to feel much more comfortable. Chris is now in a private room and receiving speech therapy and how to swallow food. He's eating jello at this time to make sure that jello is not going to his lungs. They're testing that. Uh, <clears throat> the, the team cannot give him any solid foods at this point, even though he's craving for it, because I just visited him before I came here. And that, what great news. We were able to have a conversation. The other two previous time I visited him, he did not recognize me. Today, it was fantastic. I can't believe it. He still wants to eat food. So that was a great sign. The Rebel Gladiator Mustang is one unique, durable, strong individual that will not surrender to all the predicaments stated by the medical team. He's a fighter from the get-go. Chris, as we know, as <clears throat> was mentioned that he was sought after by top in top schools. And he decided to attend Chabot College, but he had an outstanding two years. 
leading the 1972-73 team along with Steve Soroy to a state title and winning the 19, the 167 pound class. I think you read all the things that are in there, but what I'd like to state, and I would like to appreciate your cooperation on this, Chris and his family, thank you for the magnificent plaque which he's going to be presented here. It touches, it touches him deeply to so be so honored. I think he will include this beautiful plaque in his valuable possession as a common heritage handed to him by the California Wrestling Hall of Fame and its selection committee. On a closing note, I just want you to know that the entire Hall of Fame, Chris, its members, the entire 104 plus attended this evening, send you the warmest congratulations of being inducted to the California Wrestling Hall of Fame and a strong and loving prayers for your recovery. So I would appreciate this time if all of you please give him a big hand, stand up and give him a big hand. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mr. Chris Anaya, be recognized. <laughs> 